Hi y'all, Kraken Latte here. It's that time of the week again where I bring you some random fact that may or may not be helpful right out of my back pocket. That's right, this is a Kraken fact. Did you know that there are 10 different quest items you can turn in for an easy 90 Dark Moon Fair tickets? And these don't require you to do any fair dailies either. The best part is that all of these can be bought and sold on the auction house. So if you have the gold, you don't have to bother farming for these since many of these have their sources from dungeons or PvP. So if you're farming for them specifically, it could take a bit to get all 10 of them on your own. As a tip, I have all of these items favorited on the auction house so that I don't have to search for them manually each time I need to buy them because, well, their names are a little funky and, you know, it can be hard to look them up specifically if you don't remember. So, the list of these items are The Fallen Adventurer's Journal Banner of the Fallen Captured Insignia Imbued Crystal Monstrous Egg Monstrous Grimoire Ornate Weapon Soothsayer's Runes A Treatise on Strategy and Moonfang's Pelt. The last one in the list there is one item that might be a bit problematic if you're on a low pop server. Moonfang's Pelt is a drop from Moonfang, a Dark Moon Fair world boss type mob, so supply may be low on that one. Whether you're able to get the pelt or not, each of these items can be turned in once per Dark Moon Fair, so once a month, per character. And it's a great way to get a quick shot of tickets for minimal effort. There are tons of things to buy at the fair, including mug, mounts, pets, and even recipes. So this will help out a lot. And there we have it. If you think I've missed information or you want to request I do a specific guide, let me know in the comments below. Even if I don't answer you, I just might add your idea to my list. As always, thank you so much for watching and remember, it's never too latte.